Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at our top five picks for MagFed markers. Uh, before I get started, I'm not gonna, we're not doing it in a whole like this is number four, this is number three, like generally with our top fives we mean that all five of them are great choices, um, but you would just pick them for slightly different reasons. So, getting right into it, we're gonna start with the smallest, because why not? And that would be the Tipman Tipex. Now, this is an insanely popular pistol. I'm sure you guys have all seen these before. And if any of you are wondering why, the main reason would be it's incredibly crazy customizable. Like, crazy customizable. Like, you can make this into pretty much anything you want. There's tons and tons of aftermarket parts, many of them made by Tipman, many of them made by other companies. So there's just like no limit on what you can do with it. It does come stock with seven round magazines, but you do have options for 12 round magazines or Zeta mags, which is basically 10 rounds and then you flip the mag and you get another 10 rounds. Um, it is first strike compatible if you buy an aftermarket breach. So out of the box, it does not shoot first strikes, but it is totally capable of it. Uh, come stock running on 12 gram CO2 in there, but you can get a remote line adapter. Basically, like I said, guys, you can customize these to do anything you want. Like, super popular, super great little handgun, very reliable, very great, very fun. If you've never tried one, totally recommend it. They're awesome. Next one on our list is also a pistol. And that would be the, now, I, this is gonna be weird. It's usually been referred to as a Tiberius 8.1, but now the company is called First Strike, so I guess First Strike 8.1 also makes sense, but it's an 8.1. Um, this one, I will preface this by saying it does have a little bit of a carbon fiber body job on it. This is not how they come. The guy that owns this just decided to make his look pretty cool. So, you know, it doesn't come with the carbon fiber, but other than that, this is what it looks like. Uh, as for the 8.1s, they do have eight round magazines. Not much in the way of aftermarket magazines. There are some options out there, but they're kind of hard to find and kind of crazy expensive, so I'm just not gonna go into that. They are customizable, maybe not quite as much as the Tip X, but they are crazy customizable. And there is a rifle version of these that is the 9.1. So the 8.1 is the pistol version, 9.1 is the rifle. Essentially the same internals, essentially they do the same thing, it's just basically the 9.1s will come with a stock and some other accessories. They are first strike compatible out of the box, so you don't have to do any upgrades, anything like that. This is going to shoot first strikes, and because it's made by first strike, I mean, we can probably assume it shoots them pretty nice. So these are super durable, like crazy, crazy durable, crazy reliable, really, really nice pistols. Uh, the only thing that I would say you know, might chase some people away and make them go slightly towards the tip X would be the grip is actually pretty large. So if you've got really small hands, you might have a hard time with this. I personally do not have small hands, so this fits really, really nice, but just something to consider. Moving on, we're gonna get into the rifle side of things. And we're gonna show you the brand new, still brand new, Tipman TMC. Now this is, as you can see, a rifle. 20 round magazines. Um, this is the only one on this list that does not currently shoot first strike. So this is round ball only. Hopefully down the line, Tipman or somebody else maybe makes a solution to that so you can sling some first strikes out of these, but currently round ball only. Uh, the other kinda not great thing about this is currently there's also no option for an air tank in the stock. You do have to run air to there. But other than those things, this is an absolutely fantastic platform, especially for the price. Super reliable, super efficient, like weirdly efficient, and just like looks good, feels good, got this nice comfy grip, lots of tons, tons of great features. Um, yeah, it's just a really, really solid choice for a MagFed rifle, as long as you don't want to be slinging first strikes through it. That is the only caveat. Moving on, we're gonna show off the super popular Milsig M17 platform. Now this one is the CQC, but all M17s are essentially the same. They just come with different furniture, but the internals essentially don't change. Now the M17 is 
Really efficient, really reliable, and super, super, super easy to maintain. Really, when you want to take these things apart, take two pins out right there, guts come out the back, clean it up real quick, real easy, throw it all back together. Once you get good at it, you can do it in like a minute or two. So that's really, really nice, really nice feature. Another great feature is, as you can see, full automatic, and it is a fully mechanical full automatic. So you're gonna be able to shoot this thing full auto, and it doesn't need batteries to do it. Um, first Strike compatible out of the box. This is the First Strike magazine right here. If you're using the First Strike magazines, you can fit 18 rounds in them, and the standard magazine for round ball hold 20. Um, very, very upgradable, very customizable. Milsig has lots and lots of products you can use to kind of make this into your own personal marker. There's also other companies out there that have lots of other stuff. So this is a really popular platform, mostly just because it's super reliable, super easy to maintain, and just generally gets the job done. The final one on our list would be the First Strike T15. Show that one because it's got the logo on it. Um, formerly known as the Tiberius T15, just because of that whole, you know, rebranding thing. But the First Strike T15. This is, as you can see, beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. If you're going for pure sex appeal, I don't think you can go better than this one. It is also very efficient, very reliable. Uh, shoots first strikes like a dream. Obviously, it's made by first strikes, so it should. 20 round magazine right there. Holds first strikes and regular paintballs, so you don't have to get different magazines for each one. And currently, it is semi automatic only, but soon that's going to change. There will be a drop in kit available for this eventually that's going to make this into a mechanical full auto marker, so that's pretty cool. In terms of customization, this is actually compatible with most AR furniture. So in terms of hand guards, grips, everything that mounts on a rail, you're going to be able to customize this pretty much to your heart's delight. It actually is going to be kind of awesome because you're not using paintball furniture, you're using real AR stuff. Um, that is pretty much everything for our top five MagFed list. Uh, what did you guys think? Do you agree with those choices? Do you think anything else kind of should have got on that list that didn't? Uh, if you do, let us know in the comments and give us a like and a subscribe if you can. And thank you for watching.